hi everyone myself dhan lakshmi and welcome to session 1 of chapter 4 determinants of plus 2 mathematics in the last chapter we discussed about symmetric matrices skew symmetric matrices different types of matrices and the algebraic operation on matrices in this chapter we are going to find the value of the square matrices which is nothing but the continuation of the matrix chapter what is the determinant to explain that let's start with an example consider the equation x plus 3y equal to 6 and 2x plus 6y is equal to 7 we can write these two equations in the matrix form as a is equal to the matrix 1 3 2 6 so when we find 1 into the opposite element 6 minus 3 into its opposite element 2 we can see that 1 into 6 minus 3 into 2 is equal to 0 what does it mean it means that the system has no solution so graphically also when we see that when we draw the lines these two lines represent the parallel lines the lines never intersect so they do not have a unique solution let's consider another example consider the equation x plus 3y equal to 6 and 2x plus 3y equal to 9 when we draw graphically also these two lines will intersect so when we write in the matrix form it is written as the coefficient matrix of x and y is 1 3 2 3 so when we calculate 1 into its diagonal element 3 minus 3 into its diagonal element 2 we get 1 into 3 minus 3 into 2 which is not equal to 0 so that means the system of equations has a unique e solution therefore we can see that any system of equation say a1 x plus b1 y is equal to c1 and a2 x plus b2 y is equal to c2 which is written in the matrix form as a1 b1 a2 b2 into x y is equal to c1 c2 we can see that a1 b2 minus a2 b1 determines whether the system of equations has a unique solution or not again i repeat it a1 b2 minus a2 b1 will uh, determine whether the system is having a unique solution or not so we can see that if a1 b2 minus a2 b1 is equal to 0 then we say the system of equations has no solution if a1 b2 minus a2 b1 is not equal to 0 then we they say that the system has a unique solution and this number associated with the matrix is called the determinant of a or det the first three letters det a hence we can define the determinant as for every square matrix of order n we can associate a number which can be both real or complex is called the determinant of the square matrix and it is written as deta or it can be denoted by determinant a or delta so determinant is nothing but the value which is associated with every square matrix which can be both real or complex make a note that determinant a should never be read as modulus a the symbol looks the same but determinant a is denoted by in this way 
you should never take it as modulus A and the next important note is that only square matrices have determinants. Just make a note every square matrix has a value associated with that. So we can see that the determinant is nothing but a function because every matrix has a unique value. Therefore, determinant can be defined as a function f from m to k defined by f of a equal to k where a belongs to m and m is the set of the square matrices and k the set of numbers which can be real or complex. So, this f of a is called as the determinant of a. Now, let us find the determinant of a matrix of order 1. Let A is equal to matrix A of order 1. Then the determinant of A is the element A itself. If A is equal to the matrix A of order 1, then we can say that the determinant of A is the element A itself. We will see to few more example. If A is equal to the matrix 4 which is of order 1 then what will be the determinant of A? So, we know that the determinant of A is 4 itself. Similarly, we will say to the next example if the matrix A is minus 2 which is the matrix of order 1 then we can say that the determinant A is minus 2 itself. So, let us consider the matrix of order 2 matrix A, B, C, D. Then how can we find the determinant of order 2? So, we can see that the determinant A is equal to the first element into its diagonal A into D minus the second element into its diagonal element. Again I repeat it the method to find the determinant of the matrix of order 2 is first element into its diagonal element that is A into D minus second element into its diagonal. We will see to an example. Let A is equal to the determinant 2, 4, minus 1, 2. So, what is the value of this determinant? So, determinant A is equal to the first element 2 into its diagonal element that is 2 into 2 minus the second element 4 into its diagonal element minus 1. So, when we simplify what do we get 2 into 2 is 4 minus 4 into minus 1 is plus 4 therefore, we get 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Next problem find the value of x if the determinant x to 18x is equal to determinant 6 to 186. So, we have to evaluate the determinant on LHS and RHS separately then we have to equate and find the value of x. So, the LHS is nothing but when we simplify x into x x square minus 2 into 18 36. So, x square minus 36 is equal to RHS will be what 6 into 6 36 minus the second element 2 into 18 36. So, let us simplify this that is x square minus 36 is equal to 0 which implies x square is equal to 36. Therefore, we can say that the value of x is plus or minus 6. Next, we are going to find the determinant of matrix of order 3. When we say the matrix is of order 3, it has got 3 rows and 3 columns. So, there are 6 ways of evaluating a determinant and all the 6 ways will give the same answer. So, either we can find the value of the determinant by the first row or the second row or the third row, first column or second column or third column. Let us see one by one. Let us consider the matrix 
A is equal to the 2401253211. So we are going to find the determinant of this matrix. So what is the rule we are going to find out? Let's expand about the first row. So the first row elements are multiplied by minus 1 raised to i plus j. What is it i plus j? It is the sum of the suffixes of a i j where the element comes. The position of the element a i j means what? The element is coming in the i row and j column. So minus 1 raised to i plus j means what? Those two suffixes are to be added. And the determinant obtained by deleting the corresponding row and the column. So let us see one by one. So the determinant is equal to, we use the symbol delta to denote the determinant. So we are going to expand about the first row. Let us take the first element 2 and it should be multiplied by the sign. What is the sign? 2 is coming in A11 that is first row first column. So when we add 1 plus 1 it is 2. So the sign of the position 2 is positive. So we can say that if the sum of the suffixes is odd then it has got the negative sign. If the sum of the suffixes is even then element will have the positive sign. So 2 has got plus sign therefore we can simply write 2 in 2. Then what are we going to do? We are going to delete the corresponding row and the column. See the lines there? So we are going to completely delete that corresponding row and column where the 2 lies and we will write down the determinant present there. So what is the determinant? It is 2, 5, 2, 1. So going to the second element, second element is coming in the position first row, second column. So it is minus 1 raised to 1 plus 2, it is odd. So you will have a minus sign. So we can write as minus 4 in 2. So minus 4 in 2. Now we can see that the lines are shifted. So when we take the 4, the corresponding row and the column are deleted. The remaining determinant is 1, 5, 3, 1. Plus the third element is coming in the first row third column which is 1 plus 3 that is 4. So minus 1 raised to 4 is plus sign. Therefore it is plus 0 into 1, 2, 3, 2. Once again I will tell you. So whenever we are expanding about any row or column that number is multiplied by minus 1 raised to i plus j into the determinant obtained after deleting the corresponding row and the column. So for the first row the sign is plus minus plus. Therefore plus 2 into the corresponding determinant, the left out determinant, minus 4 into the corresponding values 1, 5, 3, 1 plus 0 into the corresponding determinant 1, 2, 3, 2. Now let us evaluate this. So that is 2 into how do we evaluate the determinant of order 2? The first into its diagonal that is 2 into 1 minus is the sign connecting 5 into 2. Next set minus 4 into 1 into 1 minus 5 into 3. First into its diagonal minus the second element into its diagonal plus 0 into 1 into 2 minus 2 into 3. So you get the answer as after simplification 2 into 2 ones are 2 minus 5 twos are 10 minus 4 into 1 minus 15 plus 0 multiplied by anything is 0. Therefore on simplifying we get 2 into minus 8 minus 4 into minus 14 plus 0 that gives the answer minus 16 plus 56 that is equal to 40. So the value of this determinant 
is 40 when we expanded about the first row. Now let us see whether we are getting the same answer when we evaluate this determinant using the second row. On expanding about the second row, so let us second row 1, 2, 5. So first one should be multiplied by the sign minus 1 raised to i plus j and the corresponding determinant after deleting the corresponding row on the column where 1 lies. So what is the sign of 1? It is coming in the second row first column. So minus 1 raised to i plus j is minus 1 raised to 2 plus 1 that is minus. So second row sign will be minus plus minus. So let us do it. So it is minus 1 into delete the corresponding row on the column where the lines are drawn. The remaining values they form a determinant that is 4, 0, 2, 1. Then plus 2 because it is coming in the second row, second column 2 plus 2 is 4. Minus 1 raised to even number is positive, minus 1 raised to odd number is negative. So 2 into the corresponding determinant is 2, 0, 3, 1. And the third number sign is minus 5 because it is coming in second row, third column, 2 plus 3 is 5, minus 1 raised to 5 is minus into the left out elements 2, 4, 3, 2. So on simplifying what do we get minus 1 into 4 into 1 minus 0 into 2 plus 2 into 2 into 1 minus 3 into 0 minus 5 into 2 into 2 4 minus 4 into 3. Let us simplify this. So minus 1 into 4 minus 0 plus 2 into 2 minus 0 minus 5 into 4 minus 12. Again on simplification we get minus 4 plus 4 plus 40 is equal to 40. So we got the same answer when we expanded about the second row. Now let us see what happens when we find the value of this determinant using the first column. So again following the same theory. So first column, let us see the sign, first column sign will be what? First element is first row, first column positive, 2 has got positive sign, 1, second row first column, 2 plus 1 it is negative and the 3 is coming in third row first column, 3 plus 1, 4 is positive sign. Therefore the first column, the sign will be plus minus plus. So let us see the sign. So it is plus 2 into deleting the corresponding row and column we get 2, 5, 2, 1 minus 1 into the corresponding is 4, 0, 2, 1 then plus 3 into the left out is 4, 0, 2, 5. Therefore on simplification what do we get? So first element 2 into how do we evaluate the determinant of order 2? 2 into its diagonal 2 into 1 minus 2 into 5. Next minus 1 into 4 into 1 minus 0 into 2. The next set plus 3 into what do we have? 4 into 5 minus 0 into 2. On simplifying 2 into 2 minus 10 minus 1 into 4 minus 0 plus 3 into 20 minus 0. Simplifying we get minus 16 minus 4 plus 60 that gives us 40. So we can see that when the determinant is expanded along the first row or second row or third row or first column, second column or third column the value will be the same. So we will see to the sign of the uh, matrix of order 3. So every time we need not calculate minus 1 raised to i plus j. If you remember this sign. So the order 3 starts with the plus sign, ends with the plus sign, alternatively changes its sign. So you can remember it as plus minus plus 
minus plus minus plus minus plus in other words first row third row first column third column the sign will be plus minus plus and second row second column will be minus plus minus so hereafter whenever we are evaluating the determinant we can remember the sign the first row third row first column third column in other words the borders will have the sign plus minus plus and the second row second column will have minus plus minus next problem evaluate the determinant delta is equal to determinant 1 2 4 minus 1 3 0 4 1 0 so just now we did the three methods of evaluating the determinant the another easiest way when we see uh, two zeros in a row or column it is always better to evaluate the determinant along that particular row or column where the two zeros are there so here we can expand about the third columns in the third column the elements are 4 0 0 the third column sign will be plus minus plus so you will have plus 4 into corresponding delete the corresponding row on the column we get minus 1 3 4 1 next 0 multiplied by anything is 0 and the third value is also 0 multiplied by anything is 0 so we need not write we can directly evaluate the first set 4 into minus 1 minus 12 the remaining 0 and we get the answer minus 52 so it is always better to evaluate the determinant where there are two zeros present in any row or column next question give an example of a 3 by 3 matrix whose determinant is 0 so all of a sudden will not be able to give an example so let's remember one theory here let me consider a matrix 0 1 minus 2 minus 1 0 3 2 minus 3 0 what is this peculiarity of this matrix we can see that the main diagonals are 0 the elements above the main diagonal and below the uh, main diagonal are one and the same except for the sign in other words we call this matrix as q symmetric matrix so let's evaluate this q symmetric matrix so when we evaluate this we get 0 into there is the corresponding row and the column we get 0 into 0 minus of minus 3 into 3 you get plus 9 I am expanding about the first row second sign is minus so minus 1 into 0 0 minus 2 3 is our 6 and the third value is minus 2 the existing sign is plus plus into is minus so delete the first row and the third column the remaining when we evaluate we get minus 1 into minus 3 is 3 minus 0 so let's simplify this we get 0 plus 6 minus 6 is equal to 0 which means the value of the skewed symmetric matrix of order 3 or in general I can say odd order is always 0 so if you are asked to give an example of a 3 by 3 matrix whose determinant is 0 it's always to remember that the skew symmetric matrix the determinant of which will be always equal to 0 now let a is equal to the matrix 2 2 4 0 and b is the matrix 1 1 2 0 you can see that a is nothing but the twice of the matrix b and the determinant a is 2 into 0 minus 4 into 2 that is minus 8 and when we evaluate the determinant b it is 1 into 0 minus 1 into 2 that is minus 2 so you can see that determinant a is minus 8 which can be written as 4 into minus 2 which is nothing but 2 square into minus 2 and minus 2 is nothing but our determinant b therefore we can write determinant a as 2 square into determinant b with a and b are matrices of order 2 similarly now let a is equal to the matrix 3 3 6 0 and b is the matrix 1 1 2 0 again we can 
see that A is nothing but 3B. So when we evaluate determinant A, it is minus 18 and determinant B is minus 2, which means determinant A is equal to minus 18 can be written as 9 into minus 2, which is nothing but 3 square into minus 2, which we can write as 3 square into determinant B. Again A and B are matrices of order 2. Therefore, we can generalize if A is equal to KB, in the first case K was 2, so we wrote as 2 square into determinant B, in the second case K was 3, because A is 3B, so we wrote it as 3 square into determinant B. In general, if A is equal to K into B, where A and B are matrices of order N, we can write that determinant A is equal to K raised to N into determinant B. We can write determinant A is equal to K raised to N into determinant B, where N can take the values 1, 2, 3, etc. In today's class, we discussed about the determinant of order 1, 2 and 3. In the next session, we will discuss about the minor and the cofactor of an element. With this, we come to the end of the session. Thank you.